Uh, we're planning to stay as long as it takes to see the government responding to uh, people's uh, calls uh, and until we, uh, until we see some change really. Well, the, uh, the square right in front of the London Stock Exchange is private, like everything in the city of London, really. So uh, the police has now kettled all the protesters um, just outside St Paul's Cathedral. And uh, I don't know how we're going to take it further, but we're not going, uh, we're not going home. We're going to stay here and we're going to find a place where we're going to camp until uh, our voices are heard. What's happening in Wall Street is it's been very inspiring. Uh, to people around the world and especially here in the UK um, so they've been an example. We're modeling this on uh, Occupy Wall Street but definitely RL Spring has been uh, very positive. Uh, we've seen people around the world standing up. Uh, we don't expect from the governments to uh, represent our interest against the banks anymore. Uh, we have to do it ourselves and if we don't do it ourselves we're going to keep paying for the banks and, we're gonna, uh, and they're going to go away with more profits um, on the back of, of taxpayers. So it's a uh, if you think that we started only a couple of weeks ago and we were a handful of people who started something uh, online uh, and within two weeks we have 12,000 people um, um, following us and uh, 5,000 people confirmed that they are attending the event and now as you see we've got a couple of thousand of people who turned up and uh, it's been very inspiring and it means that the timing was right and uh, that people were looking for uh, something like that, something that is something that transcends uh, political affiliations and uh, something that is a truly democratic, a grassroots movement um, and a global movement.